Eileen Piper remembers a devout daughter who wrote poetry. When will man end the pain, hang his head in guilt and shame? Stephanie was adopted by the Pipers. She was shy with a love of music. As a teenager, she attended youth group at St Christopher's Church in Melbourne's East. It was run by Gerard Mulvale. Stephanie accused him of molesting her on at least eight occasions, including during a trip to the beach at Edith Vale. She died in 1994 after a church investigation rejected her claims based on a false statement from a friend of hers. They were lies. They weren't true and I just had to help Stephanie get the truth. The church would not budge even after Gerard Mulvale was convicted of sexual offences against two other teens. Legalistic, hiding behind and using the black letter of the law to the nth degree, full stop. In 2018, with her lawyer, Eileen Piper confronted Melbourne's Archbishop, Peter Commonsoli. This is 93-year-old Eileen Piper's Me Too moment. He ordered a review, which found, based on relevant material and on the balance of probabilities, Stephanie was a victim of sexual abuse by Mulvale. Justice Warren set aside the findings of the 1990s and noted that such church investigations were not independent and were likely to have been affected by the prevailing culture of the time, which tended to seek to protect the reputation of the church. An apology came soon after. Eileen, I apologise to you sincerely and unreservedly for the profound effect of the abuse on Stephanie. The Palatine fathers and brothers run this parish. They've also apologised and sought forgiveness from Eileen Piper for the harm caused to Stephanie and her reputation. They asked me to forgive them. And I said, how can I? Why didn't you do this for Stephanie and all these years later you're doing it for me? She needed what you're doing today. It is great to get an apology, but I have to say it is far too little and far, far too late.